Right, now put the ball down for a minute, Ryan, mate, and tell us about your life off the pitch. I like clothes, you know, no more than my friends like clothes. It's just that, you know, um, sometimes, you know, I'm able to go out and buy a nice suit, whereas some of my friends won't be able to do that. They have to save up for it, whereas I can just buy it. But, I mean, um, I'm no di I'm not, I don't go mad on clothes. I don't buy it, go out every single minute of the day and buy clothes and things and buy suits. But, you know, every, every now and again, I'll just go out and... If I see something nice, then I'll buy it. I watch anything, really. I don't... Um, I haven't got one particular programme that I like watching. I watch most of the Australian neighbours and Home and Away and all that. There's a few of the players. Um, Gary Pallister goes to the pictures a lot. Lee Sharp does. So, you know, if one of us have been to watch a film and it's, it's really good, then we'll recommend it. I like Al Pacino and Robert De Niro. They are my two favourite. My favourite movies are uh, Goodfellas and I like The Godfather as well. So I like them kind of movies, yeah. No, I think there's only one time where I wish I was just one of the lads. It was when, two years ago when I went on a holiday. And um, there was about ten of us went away. And every night I was just getting hassled just getting people asking me autographs and pictures and just getting hassled every minute, you know, every minute of the day. And um, I was just relaxing on the beach and people would come up to you and wanted to talk to you. So that was the only time, really, but then, you know, as soon as I get back to, to England and I'm playing football again, you know, you realise how lucky you are. But that's the only time, really, you know, my friends are just messing about and they can do whatever they want. They can act as stupid they want and no one will bat an eyelid. You know, they can do an handstand down the street and no one would notice him. Now, when you get a free kick from this sort of range, everybody thinks you're going to shoot, especially if you've got players in the team who are capable of shooting. So now and again, you've got to use, use your brain a bit and use a bit of invention. So maybe you should mix it up a little bit, maybe a few one-twos or a pass, mm. and we'll just show you one of the options which you could yeah. use here. There's lots of options, eh? Yeah. Aren't there? Lots, you know, you can pass it to one of your pals there, you can chip it to the far post, but we've just got one little one that we'll show you. It's very familiar to people that watch the World Cup. OK. Now, everyone thinks that Ryan is going to shoot here. He's got his left foot, he's going to bend it, but maybe he's not that confident, so we're prepared to try something else. So I come on a decoy run, I'm going to shoot into this side. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Goal. When it's done correctly, it's very difficult to stop that one. Very difficult. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't hit him, whatever happens. Hey? <laughs> Whose idea was that? Shall I shoot? Good fun. If you have to hit him, Ryan, make sure you don't hit him. <laughs> Ready? Let's go! Come on, Jake! Get in there! Come on, pal! Woohoo! No danger. Come on, Jake. <laughs> Lads, finish it! Finish it! Get in there! <laughs> nice one, pal. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Now, young people sometimes can't, can't reach the, the goal from a corner kick like this, so we have to get them a little closer. I'm just going to give them one idea of what they can possibly try, and maybe they'll create havoc in the defence, whereas, generally speaking, there's no problem if they can't reach. I'm just laying a little one into Ryan. Off I go. Ryan lays it in there. Back it comes. Finish it off! Get in there! Now, then. Isn't it great when you have a little bit of success? Great stuff. There you go, right. Beautiful. I'm looking up who wants it. Finish it off. Oh! What a chance. What a chance. Well worked, though. When I'm usually taking a corner, I'll have a look up, see where the players are positioned. And in corners, you usually look, after, you look um, for the taller players. So maybe we'll have someone tall at the front post. 
Maybe we'll have them in the middle of the goal. Maybe we'll have them on the edge of the six-yard box. So there's there's a few different ways I could try and curl it and bend it into the near post so the keeper doesn't know whether to come for or not, come for it or not. Or I could try and hit it hard, um, drive it into where John is on the edge of the six-yard box. So I'm just going to show you a few different ways of what I could do. OK, I'm ready. I'm on my toes. This could be it. Last minute of the FA Cup final. Ryan Giggs crosses one! And Bobby Charlton... Oh. Well, I don't think Bobby's looking forward to heading the ball, so I'll try and hit a, a hard high one in so he has to head it, OK? A minute of the World Cup final. Ryan Giggs takes the cross. <laughs> Bobby Charlton comes in, but it looks... Oh, and a great opportunity. I think he ducked out of the way of that one, actually. Nice play. Definitely Ed. ducked. That was tough, that, because it was a hard ball coming at you. Very difficult for you to control. Again. And it's a goal, Bobby Charlton. This is what it's all about. This is why we do it, for the glory. Yeah. Yeah. Some players try and um, just trying to bend it directly into the goal. They might see the goalkeeper out of position or the goalkeeper might slip. So hopefully I'm going to just try and bend it straight into the goal here. Well, it's a far post, and it's, it's a goal! Who needs players outside? Who needs them? Here it comes again. And another one at the near post, and it's another goal! This is unbelievable! <laughs> Fergal Larkin remains the worst goalkeeper in the history of the world. A lot of plans that were laid prior to the World Cup, you know, were destroyed simply because one player missed a penalty kick or the goalkeeper made a traumatic save. So penalty kick is, kicks are really, really important. Positive, positive. Well struck, wasn't it, that? Well struck, right through the ball. Unless that hits the goalkeeper, he's never going to save them. Impossible to save. Too impossible to save. He, he actually judged that to perfection, do you notice? Hit the inside of the post. And this is Wales against England in the final of the World Cup, the last minute in the Rio de Janeiro Stadium. But Ryan's not nervous as he takes the penalty kick. Oh, and England have won the World Cup. Yes, that's old, yeah? 